Hey Sagittarius. So this is for the solar eclipse that is happening on December 26th, 2019. It is uh, the fifth eclipse of the year. We usually only have four. So, and five is the number of change, right? We've had a lot of change this year and eclipses themselves uh, are very much about change. Eclipsing things out of your life that is that are no longer needed. Um, this solar eclipse happens in Capricorn, and uh, the full moon in Gemini that occurred. Well, I'm recording this on the twelfth. It re happened at twelve twelve uh, today. It's early, early this morning. <laughs> And uh, this solar eclipse, the new moon, occurs at 12.13. So I've been, you know, it's like the next step in the tarot, right? I, I was um, likening the effects of the full moon to the hanged man. And next in the tarot is the tower. It is, or no, the death card, I'm sorry. The death card, which often comes with a tower sometimes, not always, but um, it definitely is the ending of something. And this can be, you know, it can just be a way of thinking. It doesn't have to be anything major, but uh, the way that this year has been going, it very well may, well, <laughs> could be. Uh, so, Sagittarius. Let's see what we've got in store for you with this solar eclipse. I'm not asking any specific questions, just gonna let the cards come out. All right, this is for Sagittarius, please. The solar eclipse energies that will be affecting them. This is for Sagittarius, please. Regarding the solar eclipse energies that will be affecting them. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. We've got clarity coming in, and this is the third eye chakra. So, I do say so if you um, do meditating, meditation, um, I would suggest doing some third eye meditations. This is for Sagittarius, please. Looking for some supporting energies for Sagittarius with the solar eclipse. And Capricorn occurring on December 26th, 2019. For Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> so, the direction guardian, um, I feel like you have been really uh, struggling to figure out where you want to go, how to proceed. And this it, it tells you to that you know any path that you choose is going to be a, the correct choice you don't have to stress too much about it but i feel like with this clarity that is, you know this um solar eclipse helps you find that direction and this meditation um will really help with that and also just praying praying for signs watch for signs um, from the universe. And this is telling you not to do something because you think it's 
the right thing to do, that this is what you've been taught is the right way to go. But search for clarity about what is right for you, right? And best for, you know, for, right for everyone involved, really. But most, you know, we, t we can assume what's right for other people. We only, we only know what's right for ourselves. So that's what kind of where you need to make this decision from. With this move beyond ancestral patterns, it means, you know, don't do just what you've been taught is the right thing to do. Yeah. All right, let's get some tarot. Let's see where this leads. This is for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, regarding the solar eclipse occurring December 26, 2019, the energies that will be affecting them. It's for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius regarding the new moon solar eclipse occurring on December 26, 2019. This is, you know, really a this new moon solar eclipse is forcing us to deal with with our stuff with you know, it's it's right before the new year. It wants it, you know, it's a new decade even. It really wants us to move this stuff out that no longer serves us and get on course, right? The direction path, guardian. Choose your path. Choose a path. No more hanging around. <laughs> Choose a way forward. All right. This is for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius regarding the solar eclipse occurring on December 26th. Okay. Nice. There's that death. <laughs> New journey, perhaps. Being guided. And what's really striking me with this Queen of Vessels sitting underneath um, the elder move beyond ancestral patterns is that, you know, this is a salmon and salmons sacrifice, like sometimes their life with this instinct that's inside of them to go upstream, to, you know, hopefully procreate and, um, yeah. That's it. That's their life mission, right? But they sometimes it's they sacrifice their you know they sacrifice themselves in order to do that. Perhaps you've been sacrificing too much. Just a thought. So going back over here. <clears throat> We have the green, there's a lot of, you know, people. The green woman. This is very fertile, creative energy. And she's followed by the king of stones. And I'm really struck with this, you know, that he is, you know, the, the lone wolf howling at the moon here. And I feel like with the, it sitting underneath this direction guardian, that is you 
choosing your own path to kind of be the path of the loner, the path of the lone wolf, kind of going your own way. We have the moon in both of these and then the star here. And the journey is underneath clarity. You know, there's going to be, there's something that has to end, right? And you know what it is. Hmm. With this pole star here at the end, which is really beautiful, um, you know, that's it's being guided, knowing that you're on the, the right path now, just following the signs, and knowing that it's going to lead you to fulfillment, to, to wish fulfillment. You know, it's... Sometimes, it, you know, he's in the dark here, in the forest, in this. So, yeah, sometimes things are, are dark and unknown, but we always have the star to go by. All right, we're going to get some more cards, some clarification here. Let's see what comes up. For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, regarding the solar eclipse occurring on December 26, 2019. This is for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, regarding the solar eclipse occurring on December 26, 2019. And the energies that will be affecting them. Sagittarius, please. All right, two more times. For Sagittarius, regarding the new moon solar eclipse occurring on December 26, 2019, and the energies that will be affecting them. Okay, there we go. And that was transformation that flipped over. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm, yep. All right. This is curious. Okay. <clears throat> So I feel like this is about um, some kind of creative project and there's a lot of anxiety about it. You're holding yourself back with all this anxiety about it. And this is, um, you know, and this is, the, the bees are about, you know, working, collaboration, and, you know, like I said, I see you kind of wanting to leave that and go your own way. But that's how I know this is about work, especially with the stones as well. <clears throat> and... With this white dress here, you know, this is kind of, um, yeah, stepping away from what society expects of you, what, you know, ending worrying about what, um, you know, how you appear to others. 
what their opinion is. And <clears throat> this is, you know, a revelation. This is you have, you know, kind of going your own way, using your own wisdom, you know, moving beyond those ancestral patterns. This is you making that, you know, perhaps even a sacrifice in order to do that. And then <clears throat> this is <clears throat> you developing your own identity, <clears throat> knowing that you're being guided Yeah, just this, you know, just a, being guided by the universe, listening to that inner voice rather than other people's opinion. That's coming up a lot here. <clears throat> Get a drink. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that stands out to me. You know, with this one, I feel like it's a bit of a, you know, you're making it the, the right decision. Especially with the bees coming after the news. <laughs> you know, because this is self-sabotage as well. You've got, and this is telling you, you've, and we've got two, you know, the, there's three Bs here, and I can't help but think of this as like a three of pentacles kind of, uh, you know, working with the universe, even with that kind of a self-mastery vibe so this is growth and you need to take this out in the world don't let yourself don't be let yourself talk yourself out of this all right all right <clears throat> I am going to take the underlying energies here and have a look at them. Okay. I was kind of a little bit confused about these at first, but I'm, I'm seeing what's going on here. So, We also have a raven showing up twice, which is, could be a totem animal for you. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that is kind of, yeah. But it's also, they're messengers from the other side, right? That's what I'm getting, especially with this journey. But it's telling you, you know, it's just a confirmation that this is the right decision. You've got angels showing up a couple of times. And even though it is angels and ancestors, yeah, I get it. But not every card is has angels on it. So, in fact, um, I think the guardians might be some of the only ones that have the angels on it. At any rate, you got a couple of guardians here. So this is divinely guided. You know, plus the pole star. <clears throat> 
Yeah. <clears throat> this might be some truth that needs to be spoken. My 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 uh, throat chakra acting up like this. All right. So the underlying energy here. We have solitude. Alejandra Kazarnik. Ten of bows, responsibility, trust your instincts, the animal guardian, and relationships. So, I see this as, you know, you having to kind of step away from someone, perhaps. Or, you know, this is, you know, this lone wolf kind of energy. You might already be there, but it might just be kind of, you're feeling especially alone with this decision, this path that you're taking. And um, I feel like this is telling you that right now, you know, yes, it's a burden. It's a responsibility that you have to take on. But... This relationships card is here in the underlying. And look how sweet this is. These are two old, old souls, right? That have found each other. And even though they're rooted someplace else, they're gonna find a way to be together. And this also adds up to three, growth. And I feel like you know this, this trust your instincts. You know this. You're right. This is spirit confirming that. This animal guardian also talks about, you know, if, for instance, the raven is your animal totem. This is, you know, tap into that. You know, anything that, pay attention to the animals you're seeing over and over again. And this could be on TV, on here, you know, um, just to, if you see the same animal and it's like calling to you, this might be, you might need to tap into that spirit medicine, right? So pay attention to that. Yeah. So I feel like you're feeling rather alone right now. This is a tough journey to go on, but things... You, and you know this, you know, that's this, what's the beauty about the uh, pole stars. There's so much hope in it. There's so much guidance and support. And with the underlying energy here, it's telling you that you are going to find someone that really gets you. And... Yeah, trust your instincts. They're telling you something. And don't worry about other people's opinions. Don't worry about what society thinks of your decisions. Um, yeah, this these moves that we're making right now are really cleansing the karma of the planet. They're change. It's changing everything. So know that <laughs> that is a responsibility that we're having to take right now. That is working in collaboration with spirit, with the universe. Um, so don't get talk yourself out of this. This this is divine. All right. <clears throat> okay, I've been getting. A little message at the end out of the art book. So if you're still here, I will get one for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, please. A closing message for Sagittarius. I'm feeling the right sign here. The Virgin and Child. And, uh, you know, I've gotten the idea that this is very much um, speaking about miracles. And of course, this could be that somebody's pregnant and maybe you're having to go it alone. And if that, you know, that, I think that's not for everybody, 
but I think that this is um, for some people. And if that's the case, know that you are supported, right? Other than that, we're working miracles. We're, we're you know, we're coming into, I really do uh, think that because the, the virgin and the baby keep on coming up, but you know, I think we are really coming into a time of, of, of miracles again of being able to recognize them. Because everything's possible. Everything. All right. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. I hope that this um, resonated with you. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, what have you. And I appreciate your support. And until next time, bye.